brand new at 530 repair work to an aging dam protecting a major resource for three communities, but it comes at a price. Now a committee is seeking more funding to keep the Capasaconte stream dam in working order. WMTW News 8's Courtney Sturgeon has the story from Gardner. Water from the Cabo Sacanti Stream watershed has passed through the new Mills Dam for more than 120 years. Today, Gardner, Litchfield, and Richmond are united in making sure water continues to flow freely. There's a uh, chain of 28 lakes uh, within this 217 square mile area, and all of the water from those lakes ends up going over the dam here. This fall, crews replaced three wooden pillars damaged by ice and also installed underwater steel gates at the cost of tens of thousands of dollars. The repairs to the gates was about $70,000. And that was necessary because the gates were broken in the shut position and so uh, only one gate was operable. The repair work depleted a $100,000 dam fund set up between the three communities. Less than $5,000 remains, putting nearby property owners and recreational waters at risk should the dam fail again. If the dam were to go out and the water was to go out, uh, they would have many feet of mud instead of shorefront. And in addition to the private property owners, the waters are used heavily by fishermen. It's a very popular recreational spot. so. It's really a significant resource to the communities. Now it's up to those communities to find the money to replenish the fund in their budgets for the coming years. In Gardner, Courtney Sturgeon, WMTW News 8.